It's May 21st, Saturday. I'm heading out to Burrow Canyon Shooting Park in Azusa to shoot another ARM or the NRA America's Rifle Match. I shot this match a few vlogs ago. It's at the same place. So it's basically an action rifle style match with AR or any sort of semi-automatic rifle. But uh, they're gonna cut it down to four stages instead of six. Last time it ran really long because of the fact that they had uh, only three bays to shoot it in, two stages per bay. So it ran really long due to logistics. So I'm guessing it's the same situation again. So they're just gonna cut it down to four stages and hopefully we get out of there before three. Because it looked a really long time last time. And a little quick shout out to my friend Scotty. Today's her birthday, uh, May 21st. So happy birthday, Scotty. Hope today is a fun filled day for you. Good morning, sir. Uh, where about you? I just saw your name right here. Just a second. Ammo check. Ammo check. Ammo check over there. Yeah. Uh, print, print, and print. Please. Let's do this. We're gonna have a fun time. Hey, thanks a lot for coming out. My name is Ken. Um, my staff and I we run a school called Forward Assist Training out of here in Burrow Canyon. So I appreciate you guys all coming out. We're also all like certified NRA instructors and you're here today to um, participate in the NRA's newest shooting venue called the America's Rifle Match or the ARM. The targets we're using are going to be the three gun nation target system. It's this one. Fairly simple. It's not like a humanoid silhouette or nothing. I don't know if you can see the perforations but there's really just two zones. There's an A zone. Here, I'll try to i try to outline this so it's a little easier to see. Because the perforations are, are pretty hard to see. Oh, so, right, that's later, that's later. So there's a perforation here, a light perforation. And you have two zones. There's an A zone, we call this the A zone. And then this is the B zone. Might sound confusing at first, but don't worry, as the day goes by, the instructors know how to score it. You don't have to really worry about adding, calculating. So, it, it, it's pretty easy. out of each hole. If you miss, you got to move on to the next hole. So, so this, if we hit the seal on the first shot, can we move to the next hole? No, two shots per hole. So I shot my first stage of fire on the ARM. It was 100 yards on steel. My, sh my first few shots were off. I think it's because of a clean bore, but I might have pulled them, so I don't know. Uh, bad mistake on my part, but we'll see how it goes on the next stage.
Oh. Yeah, definitely an interesting tri bipod. I've seen that design before. Is that you? Yeah. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. The bipod? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't either. So we already breezed through the three stages, and so I'm on my fourth and last stage. This AR match is actually pretty going pretty fast, and it's pretty good. Um, they, as you probably saw earlier in their discussion or the match briefing, they changed to these three-gun style targets. And so I think the, the scoring makes things a little bit easier too. So maybe they could have expanded to six stages, and it probably would have went just as fast. I don't know. But it seems like it's a pretty good match. Start there. Two on each paper. 24, 12 paper, 24 rounds. And so they're requiring two mag changes for this? Yeah. I guess? How did you like the scoring setup? And the Scoring's better. I think the free roam is a lot better. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Free roam sped better. it up. They could move more faster. So the, the, the force of fire, how was it? Was the challenge level the force of fire? Again, this is for an entry level to get a guy who just bought his AR-15 from Turner to come out. Do you feel that it was non-intimidating? I think it's pretty easy in my opinion. Fire like the Yeah. You can go post boards and yeah, good point. Yeah, like right there in front of the, the pen. Yeah, like a West End when they run action pistol match, all they do is just get it one of the target's hands, staple it on the board, and that's it, and just leave it right there. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. Maybe for the safety brief though, yeah. probably be a little bit more exactly clear on like what it needs to show like the command to like you know, unload, drop your magazine, and your camera shows and stuff. A lot of people like newer shooters. I see. Okay, good point. Good point. All right. So then I'm done shooting the match. Uh, it went by really quick. It actually only took a couple hours. And then we stuck around for an extra hour or so just to grab some tacos from the vendor over here and then talk with Ken, the uh, the primary host slash sponsor of the match and the coordinator. It was a good time. I liked the way it ran. Uh, definitely a lot smoother with the new system as far as free roam where you didn't have to squad with other people like are you weren't stuck with a specific squad so you didn't have to move as a group so like the last time the groups were moving like kind of slow you so you had to stick with your same group as opposed to this one once you're done shooting go move go move on to the next stage you know by yourself or with your friends or whatnot but you didn't have to stick around and wait for everyone else to go move with the same with the same group of people so that helped a lot the four stages move I mean, along with that and the fact that the four stages were scored a lot easier as far as just hits, number of hits and then, you know, penalties, it was easy. We had one steal stage. So that combined with the fact that we have free roam helped move this match move off really quickly. So I think you can finish it up in less than a, less than a couple hours, maybe an hour and a half if you just want to go race it really quickly and not spend any time conversing with other people or whatnot. If you just want to shoot and go, yeah, they can run it pretty fast if you keep this format. So they, it was done very well. I think they could have went to five or six stages had they gotten another bay, and we would have probably been able to fit under three hours for a match. So, I mean, this is an improvement, and uh, I definitely recommend coming out to it. Again, the AR match, the NRA ARM, is the uh, America's Rifle match, so definitely check it out. Um, ForwardAssist.com is the primary host slash sponsor slash coordinator of the ARM at least in Cal Southern California and uh, definitely give their website a check um, you know a visit and check it out and see what the NRA ARM and the ARC has to offer and hopefully in something you know to get you out shooting your AR carbine or your AR carbine style rifle and something other than a bench shooting you know just going to the range and sitting at a bench and shooting uh, this gives you a little more activity or action when you're shooting your rifle Anyway, that's pretty much it for my range session here at Burrow Canyon on May 21st. Uh, just 1,300 hours. Going to go home probably. Um, maybe stop by and get a coffee for the drive home. And then, uh, you know, wind down and probably get my gear ready for tomorrow because I'm going to go to Pendleton uh, to Sunday the 22nd to shoot in a 3x600 match 
with the new my recently acquired Remington 700. So that should be fun. Until then, um, I guess I'll after the next range vlog will come shortly after this one. So uh, until then, uh, see you on the next vlog.